Assalamu alaikum students. This is your 11th lecture on water supply and sanitary engineering. In this lecture, you will study about the sedimentation tank. As you know, the sedimentation tank is a tank where the water is retained to remove the impurities from it as the suspended matter. The sedimentation tank is made of RCC generally. It can be rectangular or circular. Now the types of sedimentation tank. There are mainly two types of sedimentation tank. First is fill and draw type sedimentation tank and the continuous flow type sedimentation tank. The fill and draw type sedimentation tank, as shown in the figure, this type of tank is usually rectangular in shape. Water is filled in the tank from the inlet valve and the, and the water is retained in the tank for some time at rest. The particles settle down at the bottom of the tank and the clear water is obtained. The clear water is then removed from the outlet valve and the tank is cleaned and the still deposit at the bottom. You can see the sludge zone. It's removed. Again the process is repeated. Now the design considerations for fill and draw type sedimentation tank. At the bottom of the tank, the provision is made for silt deposition. As you saw in the sludge zone, the outlet should be above the silt zone so that the silt in the silt zone is not removed with the, uh, from the outlet. The inlet and outlet of the tank should be on the opposite sides. Now what is the problem with this fill and draw type sedimentation tank? The more labor is required, more number of tanks are required. There is a wastage of time in filling, emptying and cleaning of the tank. The next is continuous flow type sedimentation tank. In this tank the water continuously flows through the tank but very slowly so that the particles get enough time to settle down in the tank. The principle of this tank is that if we decrease the velocity of flow of water then large amount of particles can settle down in the tank. As the velocity is decreased the time is increased that is the detention time so more particles settle down. The continuous flow type sedimentation tank is further classified into two types, horizontal flow tank and vertical flow tank. Now in case of the horizontal flow tank, as the name suggests, the flow of water occurs in the horizontal direction. The horizontal flow type sedimentation tank it's further classified as rectangular tank with longitudinal flow and the circular tank with radial flow. Now first the rectangular tank with longitudinal flow. It is rectangular in shape. As shown in the figure it has the inlet from where the water enters and then water flows slowly. The water flows in the horizontal direction or we can say longitudinally. The water then leaves the tank through an outlet. Or the inlet and outlet are on opposite sides. The baffles are provided at inlet and outlet so that the raw water is not mixed with the pure water. The baffle is a kind of wall. The length of this tank is 30 meter. 
and it can be even up to 100 meter. These are their design considerations of horizontal tank. The length and width are in the ratio of 3 is to 1 to 5 is to 1. And the width, it should be only up to 12 meter. And their depth is 2.5 meter to 5 meter. Usually it's taken as 3 meter. The floor of the tank has a mechanism for removal of sludge. The sludge is the settled matter. A small slope of 1% is provided from outlet to inlet so that the sludge removal is easy. The sludge hooper as shown in the figure has a side slope and this side slope is 1.2 is to 1 to 2 is to 1 that is vertical is to horizontal. The cross slope of floor is 10%. This cross slope is from ends towards the center line. The sludge gets deposited at the bottom where from it can be removed either manually or mechanically. Now the circular tank with radial flow. The circular tank with radial flow has mainly two types. First is the circular tank with central feed and the circular tank with peripheral feed. Both these tanks are circular. You can see in the figure. But the main difference is that in circular tank with central feed, the water enters the tank from center and leaves at the periphery. And in case of circular tank with peripheral feed, the water enters the tank from periphery and leaves at the center. You can see the diagrams of circular tank with central feed and the circular tank with peripheral feed. Now the door clarifier. It's the circular continuous flow type tank with central feed. Now the design considerations of horizontal flow sedimentation tank. First the velocity. In horizontal flow sedimentation tank, the velocity of flow should be such that the suspended particles can settle down. The velocity is taken generally as 150 to 300 mm per minute. According to Kemp, the displacement velocity is given by Vd is equal to under root of 8 beta g into g minus 1 d divided by f, where beta is equal to 0 0.04 or 0 0.06, f is the Darcy Wiesbeck factor, g as you know is the specific gravity of particles. So the velocity should be such that the settled particles doesn't lift back. Now what is this surface or flow rate? It is the discharge or rate of flow per unit plan area. There are two velocities that govern the settling of particles in sedimentation tank. Vd which is the displacement velocity and Vs the settling velocity. The displacement velocity and the settling velocity are related as Vd is equal to 10 times Vs. In the rectangular tank with length L and breadth B and height H, the velocity of flow of water is given by V equal to Q divided by B into H. And the settling velocity of particles in water is given by Vs. Where V divided by Vs is equal to L divided by H. Therefore Vs it's equal to Q divided by B into L. Where Q by BL is also called surface overflow rate 
और सरफेस लोडिंग रेट नेक्स्ट इज द डिटेंशन पीरियड As I told you, it is the time for which water is retained in the sedimentation tank. The detention time is given by T naught equal to C by Q, where C is the capacity of sedimentation tank, and Q is the discharge or rate of flow of water through the tank. For rectangular sedimentation tanks, the detention period T naught is equal to L into B into H divided by Q. And for circular tanks, the detention period T naught is equal to D square into 0.011 D plus 0.785 H divided by Q. Also, the relation between detention time and surface overflow rate. is given by t not equal to h divided by surface overflow rate then the vertical flow tanks the vertical flow tank is circular or square in shape at the top and its dimension decreases to the bottom the water flows in the vertical direction the sludge in the vertical flow tanks is removed by sludge pipes This was the end of this lecture